Imagine being born into a world where your mind is sharp, but your body refuses to cooperate. A world where the simple act of holding a pencil is a battle, but your dreams and desires burn brighter than ever. Have you ever felt trapped by your own limitations? Perhaps by societal expectations, family pressure, or even your own self-doubt. How do you break free? Today, we dive into Jivan Karaki Fool by Jhamak Ghimire, a memoir that answers this very question. Written by a woman born with cerebral palsy, this book chronicles her incredible journey of overcoming physical and societal barriers to become a celebrated author and poet. But more than that, it raises a profound question, is life a thorny bush or a blossoming flower? Let's find out. We begin in the rural town of Dhankuta, Nepal, where Jhamak was born. Her childhood was not filled with the carefree moments we often associate with early years. From birth, she was different. Diagnosed with cerebral palsy, Jhamak could not speak or walk like other children. Imagine the isolation, a child eager to express herself but unable to do so in the usual ways. Her family's reaction mirrored society's expectations of the time. Her disability was seen as a burden, and her desire to learn was met with resistance. Can you imagine being treated as invisible, even within your own home? Many of us have experienced moments when our potential was doubted, maybe we were told our dreams were too big or our talents not enough. Jamak's story taps into that universal feeling, but in her case, it was intensified by her physical limitations. Despite these limitations, Jamak was observant and determined. Here's where her story takes an unexpected turn. Instead of accepting the role of a silent spectator in life, Jamak decided to create her own path. She taught herself to ride by using her left foot. The image of a young girl sitting in the corner, scribbling letters into the dust with her toes, is both heartbreaking and inspiring. This part of the book reminds us of the human spirit's capacity to rise above adversity. What lens would you go to, to give voice to your thoughts if the world refused to hear you? Think about the famous scientist Stephen Hawking, who lost his ability to move and speak yet contributed immensely to physics. Both Jamak and Hawking show us that our mind's potential is limitless, even when our bodies fail us. As Jamak's writing improved, she began to express her thoughts, feelings, and frustrations through poetry and essays. Slowly, her family and society started recognizing her talent. Her work was published, and her writing opened a window into the mind of a woman who had been overlooked for so long. Jivan Karaki Pool became a testament to her perseverance. This phase of her life raises an interesting question, what does it take for society to truly see a person? Is it success, recognition, or something deeper? Jamak's story challenges us to rethink how we measure someone's worth. This brings us to the crux of the story, the title itself, Jivan Karaki Pool, which means life, a thorn or a flower. For much of her life, Jamak's world resembled a thorny bush, a life full of hardship, struggle, and rejection. But as she reflects on her journey, we see the blossoming of a beautiful flower amidst the thorns. The flower, in this case, is not success or recognition, but the personal growth and the ability to find meaning in suffering. This is where suspense builds. Is life inherently painful, or can we find beauty in adversity? The story reaches its emotional peak as Jamak recalls one specific incident, a turning point where she almost gave up on her writing. Feeling defeated and overwhelmed, she questioned whether her voice even mattered. But in that darkest moment, a small victory came, a letter from a reader who said her writing changed their perspective on life. This external validation became a crucial moment for her, proof that her voice was not just valuable, but necessary. Have you ever wondered if your struggles are worth the effort? If what you do makes any difference at all? As we near the end of the book, Jamak delves deeper into her philosophy of suffering. She asks, can pain be a teacher? For her, pain has been both a curse and a blessing. 
while it isolated her from others it also gave her the strength and insight that made her who she is today the thorny bush of life when viewed from a distance becomes a garden of experiences that shape us into who we are in the final chapters of jivan kada ki phool jhamak reflects on how far she has come she is no longer the invisible child in the corner but a respected author whose words have touched the hearts of many her journey is a powerful reminder that life struggles can either defeat us or mold us into something beautiful many of us have moments where we felt life was just a series of thorns perhaps a career setback a relationship failure or personal loss but like jhamak we have the choice to turn those thorns into flowers so is life a thorny bush or a flower jhamak leaves that answer to us for her life has been both the thorns were real painful and unavoidable but within that pain she found the strength to bloom into something beautiful this is the ultimate message of the book that life's value lies not in avoiding suffering but in how we face it now i leave you with this question what's your thorn and what flower could grow from it how will you transform your challenges into something meaningful thank you for joining me on this journey through jivan kada ki phool jhamak ghimire's life story is one that speaks to all of us reminding us of the power of the human spirit If you are ever feeling defeated, remember Jhamak, remember the girl who wrote with her feet when her hands wouldn't let her. What can we learn from her courage? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If this story inspired you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.